TC Podcast. <laughs> That's pretty much when somebody hits a homer. Thoop. Anyway, what's up, y'all? It's uh, <laughs> Brahma Boo and uh, my wife Daphne, Marcus Creek, 180 Talent, all that stuff mixed into one. And this is Out the Shoot, episode quite eight. I Ocho. Beg, Ocho. I beg, I beg your pardon. Ocho. What? It's not wild mixed into one. <laughs> Together while we're sitting here, it is. Oh, well. Oh, so now, okay, go ahead. <laughs> separate, separate all your stuff from us. Tell everybody all the things you do. Because that, that list is like this long. And not a bad. I'm giving you an opportunity to. T- whoa, I said that sounded like I'm giving. This is. Tell everybody all the shit you do. I'd rather not. It's Sunday and I don't really want to talk about work. You have a crystals hat on, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I got this on the road. I was going to say. <laughs> I, y'all know I got hats for days. I remember that night. What was uh, that? Was, I don't remember where we were. Well, I know that Crystals was like the fifth uh, drive through we went through that, that night. That I do remember because nobody would serve us. Yeah, not, we didn't go through five just to eat more and more right. and more. It was too late. And then one time we couldn't one get the bus through one of the drive throughs Nobody was open but drive throughs We went to like three drive throughs somebody was out of food. Yeah. And then we rolled up to Crystals and Terry was driving. He's like, before we do anything, do y'all have food? <laughs> They're like, yeah. He's like. We got a big ass order coming. <laughs> it was a chick because yeah. we were giving her hell, and she ended up giving me her hat. <laughs> so I got a crystals hat. Yeah, I okay. might actually have crystals hat. Huh? Crystal, her actual hat. So anyway, uh, it's been an interesting weekend to say the least here in Moccasin Creek land. I'm not even sure where to go with that, but okay. Yeah, uh, I'm just sitting on the couch Friday night, minding my own fat ass business, watching the games, watching TV. And I may or may not have had some adult vitamins. Adult and uh, I just happened to look up and, what's up, fucker? David, Catfish Cooley, and Monica came by unannounced. Not unannounced. They announced you. Surprise. I, knew. I meant <laughs> not unannounced. That sounded terrible because I, I, they can come back anytime they want to. <laughs> but let's just say, hadn't seen, the, hadn't seen the couple. Hadn't seen either of them in a year or two because uh, they're doing their thing. We're doing our thing. They ain't changed the lick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have some funny video on my phone, which I shall never share with anyone. <laughs> uh, I can say Poor it. catfish. There ain't nothing poor about him because <laughs> he, he makes all his choices on his own. <laughs> he is a grown man. He will tell you that. But he's not equipped physically to eat 800 milligrams worth of THC edibles <laughs> at one time. Because my man was gone. <laughs> but it was interesting. We had a good time. For like 24 hours, he was gone. 18. Well, I mean, not like yeah. gone. He wasn't passed out. Because nah, we went he, the next day and had a fun day. and Wasn't real functionable. <laughs> he was functionable. He was just. He's out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than the time we came home when he was wearing your panties. This is true. Which. Um, well, not, not, <laughs> not quite as good as the time he passed out and pissed himself and shaved the eyebrow off. He didn't shave his eyebrow. I did. You know, it's so crazy. I got a, a text, was it last night, from um, um, Mike Wright. And, uh, uh, yeah, I did. And um, <laughs> I think for a second. And he said, because uh, I have his number saved under a, num- a different name, it says Wright's my boss. But anyway, he said... He sent me a picture, and he said, sure do, miss y'all. And I said, you know, it's funny that you just sent me this picture. I said, Catfish just left. And he goes, oh, my God. He said, I was just telling that story to that everybody. That was the first <laughs> night we'd ever hung out with him. And we went to uh, Wright's. Yeah. It wasn't the first night. Oh, no, yeah. No, he'd been on the road with us. That was the first weekend. We picked him up in uh, Walmart in Nashville where we had bus call. We went out and did a uh, couple shows. We picked him up at the airport, Illinois. honey. No. Yes, we did. We picked him at the airport. How the hell would he have got to Walmart? Whose memory are you going to question? Mine or yours? Uh, I, it, Look, Steve's <laughs> like, Steve's like, his neck Steve's like I was right. I'm right, aren't I, Steve? We picked him up at the airport. I forgot the day was Sunday. I was going to sh- I mean, I f- man, my days since the pandemic started, and I really had no, like, where to go, like, because we haven't had a schedule. I don't know what days or what days. It's really killing me. We picked him up at the airport. I don't remember. I had no. I didn't even know it was my birthday last week. Remember? Mm-hmm. I did. I mean, it's just like because this is such a. It just seems like everything's irrelevant right now with the way the world is. Are you crazy? I've been busier than ever. 
it's because you work harder. I than just me. realized that I'm wearing my Sadie Hawkins shirt. My, no, well, this is my Sadie Hawkins. Hey, shirt. if I could get but one of those is... to match, we'd go to Sadie Hawkins dance and <laughs> chaperone this year at but the I, high school. Speaking of high school, we I done. put on my fuzzy sweater because I was cold. <sighs> what did Eminem say back in? Uh, I created a monster. We created a monster. No, I just birthed the most perfect little boy child ever, and you man, created a with monster. That, with that crazy nonsense talk right there. Look, man, Jacob's 14. Yeah. And he's been in here rapping. So um, mm -hmm. I don't know how to handle that. Like, you, you get excited and happy that the old stepdad had him do something that you did, and it's cool. But at the same time, I ain't yeah, ready well. for that because he's too pretty, and I had to beat <laughs> these little girls and parents off of him. If he started doing this, because I think, hey, um, so, um. It's funny that you say that your mama was talking about that when she was in, talking about Jacob. How cute I am. And that, not uh, you. Yeah, my mom and daddy was up here the other day. Yeah. They came back to see me since I uh, uh, sliced my, my leg open. Can, we they, can't uh, see it no, here, they were talking about Jacob and how uh, your mom said when she was babysitting him down in Florida, she told him, she said, Jacob, you can't go out of my sight. You're too pretty. You're <laughs> you're like the blonde hair, blue eyed. See, we had that. Yeah, we had <laughs> that. Like... We had the same thing when we were kids growing up. It was like Michelle and Lee and John Allen and then me. It was like, hey, we went everywhere. It was like, these pretty. Y'all stay close. They, these y'all are too pretty. These Jeff, you can go play where the hell you. Ain't nobody taking your ass. So I was like, man, and I, you know, um, it's probably true. If somebody kidnapped me when I was seven or eight, first thought they wasn't gonna be able to feed me long. <laughs> Secondly, if they didn't chew tobacco or do something, I could just dip off into like mischievous and I, I'd get bored. I probably burned the house down. I don't know, but I can promise you, in uh, like from like eighty four to eighty eight ish, if there would have been a um. Somebody jerked me up off the street. They'd have given me back. They'd have gave me back. That still holds true today. Ain't anybody trying to kidnap me now? Plus, I carry. <laughs> so, and you can't. It's a, what is it, what's the shirt say? It's harder to kidnap fat people. Hey, you see all the people talking about man? You lost a lot of weight. You know, I did. I had the right shirt on, and the wind was blowing perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was yeah. like blowing at this angle to where my belly didn't stick out as much. It's not so much my belly. I think it's my um, my titty sag so bad that oh my God. people are like, boy, you need a lift. You never. You hadn't really put any of the weight back on. Let's get our boobs done at the same time. Let's what? <laughs> That'd be the shit. Did did you? Just, I, I think we can get a literally, discount. Literally, literally, y'all can't see him, but Steve is literally off camera. I bet we can get a rolling. discount. Rolling. Did you one? just say let's get our boobs done at the same time, insinuating that I need boobs? Is that what you're saying? Like no insinuation whatsoever. Just I repeating mean, things you've told me, and then I said, you know what? That might actually help if I got a lift, perked a little bit. <laughs> Hold on. You should probably stop talking. I, there was nothing malice or just, that was not. Me okay, my bad. Next subject. Uh, but uh, can I get a sleeve? It's fun enough we went to the dentist in the same day. How about that? Hey, man. <laughs> that shit scared me. Because I've, I've been to the dentist all my life and I never had a cavity. I've just been lucky. But that's one thing I could hold over my sister's head because she had cavities when we was kids and I didn't. And I was like, hey, hey. But. So I had to go to the dentist last week because, man, I had a toothache for like a couple of days. I never had a toothache. Them shits is ridiculous. And then it jumped from one tooth to another tooth. And I was like, uh-oh. It was because it wasn't your, really your teeth. Yeah, and then I found out I had a sinus infection so bad it was hurting my teeth. And I never heard about that. Uh, I mean, I knew I had sinus problems because he wants to do that sinus surgery. Not the <sighs> dentist. Nah, <laughs> no, not the dentist. But uh, yeah, remember doctor and told he told me mm -hmm. he's like, uh, I need you to get the sinus stuff because my septum's deviated completely. The whole sinus yeah. canal is like crushed and all. And, uh, might have had a. You can probably stop talking about that. Prerequisites that caused it. Um, no, but shout out to Doctor Crosby's office. Who? The dentist you went to did. Oh shit. yeah, Doctor Crosby. He was real good, man. <laughs> oh my god. What I went to Doctor uh, Doctor Hicks, Doctor uh, uh, Doctor and Doctoress. Mr. and Miss Hicks for that was in Florida. Years in Florida. This is in Tennessee. I know. I, I understand that. So I wasn't quite sure. Sorry, Doc. I didn't remember your name because I'd only been once. But you did a good job. I'll be back in six months. I'm scheduled. I like getting my teeth clean because um, it makes me feel like I did something that day. And I know that's the only time I'm going to get them flossed for 364 days. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, did you ever have braces? You didn't have braces, did you? I had them nasty bastards. Everybody had braces. 
Man, I, I literally, like, I got them on the day after eighth grade was over. And then I got them off, like, two days before ninth grade started. No, 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 I take that back. I got them right when sixth grade started. Got them off right before ninth grade because I had them all through middle school. It did suck. I didn't. Have, I had mine for a bad overbite, and now it's back I because teeth. I didn't wear. <laughs> miss Miss Perfection. I never claim to be perfect. Hey, when you um, but my teeth are straight for the most part. How um, you still uh, you want to play golf? Do I want to play golf? <clears throat> Seriously, start, start playing. You saw me attempt to hit a golf ball. Yeah, it wasn't real athletic. I don't want to play golf. I have I can hit a baseball for days. I just can't hit a golf ball. It's something about looking down hold on, hold on, and hitting hold on, that. Hold on, hold on. You, okay. can, you can hit a baseball? Mm-hmm. As soon as we leave here today, we're going to go pitch softball. Okay. I can hit a baseball. Well, I said softball. Or softball. Same thing. It's still a ball. One smaller than the other. But I Which can't one hit smaller? A, the baseball dip shit. How big is it? I don't know how big it is. About the size of my fist. Five and a quarter ounces. Okay, well, I don't know how big it is. Five and a quarter ounces of sheer intimidation, right. especially when you're sitting in that hot box or the hot corner, or, you know, just, just getting pellets. It's so, anyway, so, I can't so, hit a golf ball. I don't know why. My cousin Lee was drafted real high out of okay. college. He could, uh, he dropped bombs. Like why Hiroshima. are we talking about sports? I hate sports. Well, get off them. We just. You brought up golf. All right, so. Uh, what are we talking about then? How'd you like the debates the other night? Oh, God. <laughs> it was like two preschool kids from uh, grade school just arguing in the sandbox. Somebody had a great, great idea. I think it was your mom. Said she, they should put them in soundproof uh, boxes and that when one's speaking, they shut the microphone off to the other one so yep. they can't speak while the one's speaking. They actually should just make Theo Vaughn the president. No, negative. Go well, try have we talked about that since we went? Mm-hmm. Nah, because we were filming that day, right? Or something. We went for my birthday. No, I think we did. We talked about it. No, we didn't get talk about the show. We talked for my birthday last week. We got to go see Theodore Vaughn in Nashville at Zany's. He was working on his new hour, and it's freaking hilarious. And not to take anything from him, but I tell you, man, both of his openers were hilarious. A well, shout out to Zany's in Nashville too. Theo was. Because Unbelievable. Zane, it was a, I mean, honestly, because, you know, everything is so pandemic y or whatever. And, and, but they actually, she, really, on, she said pandemic y. Well, because it's hashtag but, pandemic y. That's a yeah. t shirt. Don't take it. It's already filmed. That's our <laughs> intellectual property at this point. But no, um, they were really cool about everything, you know, about, you know, because you have to wear a mask until you get to the table, but there weren't like, you how know. you tell everybody we spent all this time, we killed ourselves on this house and you don't want to live in it now? I almost died. I literally almost died while we were renovating this home. Now you're going to tell me. Uh, you didn't I'm, die. I fell through a, a deck and yeah, cut an well, artery. You've you lived. almost killed me three or four times over decisions. All right, what are we going to do? Let's just buy some property and put a tent on it. How about we buy some property and we put two little houses on it and you can live in one <laughs> <laughs> just have a covered deck connecting the two, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, th- 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 no, th- th- just I'm have joking. one in the middle that's the kitchen, so that it always be clean because you ain't in there cooking. Now nah, you can cook when you cook, chicken pot pie. Oh, speaking of, no for dinner, no your homemade chicken pot pie. You I say no your homemade, thing. but it's Carrie McLean's actually. I like, cook it. She just gave me the recipe. Thank Car- you, Carrie. The first Carrie, the first time you gave her the recipe. She got home and dad was making a recipe and she looked at me and she goes, now I got to make the roux. What is a roux? <laughs> I, I didn't know like, what a roux was. There's uh, a lot of people uh, I'm sure that didn't know what a roux was. I did. That's what we called Robbie Wiles growing up, roux. So I thought you was throwing some Robbie in that song, bitch. Yeah. Oh, we went by and saw. Oh, I did. I went by and saw Robbie and Kristen last time I was in St. Augustine. Nobody. We put, we put a whole segment together for when he's going to be on the podcast. We got stories for days. We ain't talked about jack shit today. We just sitting here rambling. I'm just watching you trying to figure out why you're wearing a crystals hat. We already discussed why I'm I wearing know, a crystals hat. But why of all the hats that you have, and uh, God knows that you have Do I got any hat do I have some hats? Uh, <clears throat> you could have a room just with hats in them. Oh, that's definitely not in the notes we're talking about today. I'm scared you're looking at your notes. Yeah, just seeing if there's things we hadn't covered last week we didn't get to. 
Oh, well, that's not it. So go ahead and tell them something while I'm uh, trying to find out some. Well, a long time ago, talking. and I'll just go ahead and put them, put them on the spot. So like about three episodes ago, I was going through Facebook <clears throat> and I saw where Jeff had made a comment that said, stay tuned on the podcast. We had some big news that he wanted to share with everybody and he never shared it with anybody because he still hadn't made up his mind yet. Man, stop. <laughs> so, stop. but oh, I keep hitting this microphone. I stop. apologize. This podcast don't reach enough people. Not enough people listen and watch and view to make me feel relevant again, so don't even bring that shit oh, up. Oh, stop it. You're such a baby. So anyway, <clears throat> so my partner, um, Kelsey, she's like, um, we're not going to... Jeff wanted to actually possibly go back and do some shows in 2021. Live shows. Possibly. And, possibly. And Kelsey... Keyword. Kelsey got so mad. <laughs> she said he gave her like this, you know his quote unquote list of demands and all that. And she said one included a life size gizmo doll and nine holes of golf. She said, are you serious? That's all you want. And and I was laughing and I'm just sitting back and I'm like, I'm not even going to get in this conversation. So she said, okay, she said the only way that I'm going to book you any shows is if you sign a contract with me. I ain't signing a contract with my wife's company. Oh, no. I signed Kelsey. a contract on September 14th, 2013. Mm-mm. Kelsey said she is absolutely not going to do anything unless you sign a contract with 180 because we're going to treat you like we treat everybody else. And if you back like out of a shit. show. What? I'm just playing. We treat all of our artists wonderful. I don't have any notes to talk about today. So anyway, y'all, Jeff is considering doing shows in 2021, but... He's still sitting on the fence. That's a big ass fence. Mm-hmm. What is the? What it are sure all these is. notes? I'm not sure because I don't look in your phone. I I picked up the first thing I said is I saw was you pick up hookers just for the conversation. I don't know who I was writing these down to tell. Um, those are probably lyrics. You're just a rodeo clown with aspirations. Where the? F- I don't know, man. I got a whole list of just some strange stuff. Uh, Maybe I should look in your phone. Oh, man. No. I think, <laughs> no? No? no. <laughs> you don't want to read some of these because these are pretty bad. Maybe like, you should just go ahead and hand that over right here. On Did you grow up in a village that didn't do anything but weave wicker baskets for hot air balloons? I don't know where this comes from. Like, I just must get up there and just write stuff at night. I'm not sure. Um, But you can't walk a mile in my shoes. You get lost. <laughs> Look, here's some notes. I got to tell. Okay, really. What? You got to tell what? No, I was going to tell. Um, so we went riding. We went just kind of like riding all over the place. With, it, uh, was pretty. it was so, so Catfish and Monique are talking about having a, a vacation home in Tennessee. <laughs> oh! That was almost disaster. Sorry. I'm going to keep my hands to myself back in grade school. <laughs> my bad. All right. Start I over. I can't take you anywhere at all. It's my room. No. It is not. Your oh, now room. it's now when I'm in trouble at home, <laughs> she says, "Go over to the other house and get in the studio." You're on my, now that we're here, and I call it my room. It's it's our room. I don't understand how unless if I'm in trouble, is mine. If I'm not in trouble, it's ours. It's like the dogs. If they do something bad, that's your dog. Look at how sweet Why my are dogs you so are. Loud? Turn you got to buy your thing. <laughs> Turn your shit down. Yeah, but then I stop hearing my own voice. Hey, I like your outfit today, for real, though. It is cute. It's real, like, cowgirl Other than the sweater. But I got cold when we got in here. Who is she? Eight-second bull rides are at the radio this weekend. What? I'm sure people wonder how I put up with you. I wonder how you put up with me. We'll find out more that Wednesday at noon. At That's- two? Did you say two? <laughs> you know what time my therapy appointments are? That's a shame. It's actually Tuesday, but not. We got more. That's why I'm. That's why I'm jacked up in the head. I don't even know when my own appointments uh. are. Uh, it's crazy. I'm gonna start a new CBD regiment though this week and see if I can't start mm-hmm. changing some things with my fibro, my algas, and all the things that bother that are hurting my. My hand, that that's the honestly uh i really am debating on the music thing next year like i, I do miss perform i don't miss a lot of it goes with I, I love performing but 
I really don't know until we can figure out physically what's going on if I want to commit to that. Because with my hands and my shoulders and knees, I know I'm only 43, but, man, I'm getting some terrible arthritis and fibromyalgia is what they think. Uh, but I, I don't know. If I if I get that under control, we're going to try this new CBD regimen and eating better and exercise and whatnot. And I, if if that stuff goes away, that'll that'll. Re- but man, it's just, and I'm not I'm not trying to make an excuse. I'm giving an actual, like this is what's going down, and it hurts. It sucks. You know, there's some days I can go play golf. It's fine. Three days of, of just okay, and then bam, I'll have three or four days where, like you saw how how big were my hands last night? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Now she's going to make me feel like I'm just at, my hands were just swollen up. They look like one of the Amish cabinet makers mm-hmm. hands. Okay. But the problem with this is, is that you bring a lot of that on yourself because you don't take care of yourself. And I'll just stop right there. We'll stop talking about this. So oh, Jeff is deciding Lord. if what? he's going to tour on. next year. Yeah, I don't take care of me. Queen of the Coca-Cola and sun drop. I'm actually working with Daphne's a, the first person I ever seen go to the hospital because she was having a withdrawal and they actually pumped sun drop so into her shit. veins. She got a she got a sun drop IV. No, I don't. I don't drink those. And I actually um I actually am working with um Alan on a nutrition and, and bettering ER, myself. I, you ever heard of Alan Iverson? Alan Alan Iverson. Who the hell's that? Oh my god, I'll punch you. Okay, well, I'm working with... One of the greatest point guards that ever played in the NBA. I thought about that Iverson. I like sports. I can have you spelling Iverson, or I can have you saying Iverson when the beef's all done. I'll have you in the ER with an IV, son. Jeff, huh? nobody cares. Er, Ivers. I'll have you with an IV in the ER, son. Iverson. Jeff, nobody cares. Sorry? I <laughs> dissect words like a... Oh. Who dies sex words? I had a really funny story that I have totally forgot about. Tell it. Tell no, I don't forget though now. Like we got up so Friday we Friday you brought it up to forget it? No, I just forgot it because you talk too much. I just sit and look at you sometimes and think, Are you ever gonna shut up? You sit and look at me sometimes and googly eyed and think to yourself, How did I pull this man? Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I love you though. Um so try. When we were... We don't have any waters in there. No, but you can have some of this Coke, you know. <laughs> Last time I had a girl tell me I had to disappear for three days. <laughs> I don't even know how I got home. <laughs> Why? Just drink the Coke and shut up. Oh, I'm teasing. Jeez. I was going to talk about when we were lost up on the mountain trying to find the cross. <laughs> yeah, how does that happen? I felt real canish. Oh right. wow! I'm, t- I'm teasing. Don't talk about poor Kane. Mm. Um, now we went up to Swanee University on the top of the mountain, and it's beautiful. Been up there a million times. We just got turned around on campus, and hey, that wasn't. You're not lost, but we got to see all the really pretty old homes up there. I was like, wow. But yeah, we went up to the mountain and when all the people took them all around, around and had a good time. Uh, Asked some, asked the couple that was standing outside in the open air if they would take our picture, and she said no because we didn't have gloves on. She didn't want to touch our camera. Uh, they're a bunch of lib, libby, libby, libbies. But it's so pretty up there. Yeah. Hell yeah, it is. We only stop. We <laughs> I ain't trying to get only, into politics. Politicians we, are all douchebags. We literally only um, went up there. So what? I you drink that. It's good. Because um, Monika had never seen the cross. Monica. It's Monika. Stop making she fun never of her. What? She never seen the cross. Because she ain't ever talked to Jesus. Wow. That is, you're. Oh, we had the discussion. Stop it. Oh. Uh, she got OnlyFans. She does. <laughs> I'm going to get one of them. No. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get an OnlyFans account. And when you click on, it's just me naked with a bunch of box fans laying around. That's all my fans. I'm just gonna lay on the bed, eating porridge off my t- off my nipples. What if I just laid there naked in boxers and ate porridge from an old plastic play school spoon? You know, there's some freak old ladies out there that would pay to see How that. How did we get on this? We were talking about the cross, and then we go to you laying naked eating porridge. Hmm, I don't know. So what happened at the cross? It was pretty. But the people did have masks on outside in the open air. We had, we saw people jogging with a mask on. I'm like, bro, that's got to be bad for you. I'm going to have to take these headphones off. Man. 
All right, go ahead. Hey, we um the games yes, are coming on shortly. That's exactly what my point was. We were up there. Oh yeah. And it was I mean it was beautiful up there, but people are just taking some things a little too far. And <sighs> Jeff. Oh god. We're man, filming I, got, a I know I got, I got I got chest gas. I got um isn't gas when you isn't it when you burp you burp, you got gas. So why does some decide to come out your mouth and some come out your anus? Because it depends on how far down it is and where it's trapped at. Well, mine all stay in the middle. Is that why? You I... think that you would know this? <laughs> I don't. That's why I have flurps. Oh, God. That's a fart burp. Mm-hmm. A flurp. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's like a um uh, a whiffle poo. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, no, a snark. A snark's a guy that goes around um to to um. Uh, bathtubs that have a bubble bath going and they uh, fart in it and bite the bubbles. That's a snark. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> there really is something wrong with you. I, I truly believe You ain't never farted something. in the tub and bit the bubble? No. No. I do remember a time, though, that <laughs> you pre- got in um, our bathtub. Couldn't get out. And okay, I wasn't going to mention that. I oh, was going to mention I know what you're getting at. the fact I, I, that I Brady bunched that whole bathroom. I hear Jeff yelling, and I'm like, <laughs> "No, Jacob was little." Well, stop! First now, off, my fat ass was in a bathtub. Me. I don't get any credit for that. I am talking. Quit interrupting. My bad. Jacob was little, and he runs back and he goes, "Mama, <laughs> Mama, uh, you better come see what Jeff did." <laughs> He's a tattletale. And I went around the corner into the bedroom, might I add. So the master Uh, bath was in, of course, you know, attached to the bedroom. I walk in the bedroom, and there's (laughs) bubbles in the bedroom floor. And I'm like, what the hell have you done? And Bubbles was not the next door neighbor's wife. (laughs) It was real Bubbles. Wow. It's an old joke. You don't remember that old (laughs) joke with the horses? No. So anyway... Good Lord. Y'all grew up in a... Y'all we were had, sheltered. Probably. But there was bubbles. Everywhere. Every, this house. Everywhere. The they were on the <laughs> bathroom sink. They were... Into the bedroom. I, the, do uh, you know how hard it is to clean up bubbles? Yes, it sucks. But that's not as bad as the first time that I actually ever was involved in a bath at your home that made me feel extremely... Un- I didn't know the rules. <laughs> Daphne and I had just started dating. We've been dating for a little while. Not yeah, long. We had. We had. We hadn't been dating we long enough been. for me to not have to call and ask this question. Well, we've been dating long enough for me to trust my children with you on your own. So, you which still don't do that. Well, true. But Madison was there, so D- Mad- Jacob was dude, little. Daphne calls me one day. She says, "Hey, I'm. At, I think you're at the McMinnville lab or something. You're like, I'm gonna be a while before I get home. Can you?" Get the kids ready for bed. Jacob needs a bath. Jake was four. So I'm like, all right, Jake, come here. Fill up the tub. Hop in there, bro. And he's cleaning and everything. Daphne's telling me, make sure you wash him, you know, get him clean. I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm in a newer relationship, but I know these kids and these things cool. And I swear to you, Jake's clean and I'm sitting on the edge of the bath. And he's only, you know, two feet tall. And he turns around and goes, I'm ready. I was like, ready for what? <laughs> He's like, Mama wash my privates. <laughs> you make me I feel like out a the phone. Hey, baby. Um, <laughs> I ain't supposed to be touching other little kids' pee-pees. And he's asking me <laughs> to clean Stop. him. No, nah, it just, it was funny because I just did, you know what I'm saying? But it was funny how Jake did. He turns, he goes, I got to clean my privates. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> Take this sponge, <laughs> put it on your thingy thing, clean it up. But no, nah, it was so funny, man. I was like, wait, this is weird. So we connected. Um, that sounded weird. <laughs> that did sound terrible. <laughs> Steve's over there rolling. Madison oh, helped. No. You she actually did. She did, did, help. You she did, did help. You did good with the kids when I wasn't there. Well, they were easy because Maddie just read. She read all the time when she was 12, 13 years old. She just sit in a room and read. Mm-hmm. What happened? And write. To her? Mm-hmm. She she used to write. Jacob, mm-hmm. that boy was full go, mm-hmm. a thousand miles an hour all the time. And don't leave a beer sitting around. And- <laughs> <laughs> that 
That is true. I, that is so true. He used to like beer. Hey, uh, speaking used of- to. <laughs> Child still does, and that's it disturbs me. Hey, uh, will y'all get mad if we do these every two weeks? It's hard getting over. <laughs> it's hard getting over. We here. do have a lot going on. We do. We're uh, a lot. Uh, I do. I mean, like, I this is actually what people don't understand is this is actually coming. Oh. Up. Why is it I'm always talking and you always interrupt? Because I just remember something. Okay, well, keep it in the back of your mind for two seconds. This is your hunting season, which I know that's not really, like, busy, quote-unquote. But this is my busy season with booking, believe it or not. Because most of the, a lot of the other agencies shut down in December and, and mine doesn't. So, um, so anyway, I'm going to let Jeff say what he was ever so rudely interrupting me about but we would like to do these every two weeks or i would go ahead now well i was just gonna ask you a question can we talk about weed no can we talk about weed we we no not yet <sighs> we ain't got shit else to talk about we'll see y'all in two weeks peace out go <laughs> i got a lot to talk about but you well, never then we'll let do me it on talk the next episode bye